All right, so we're on Val de Bois and we're hunting red deer today. So we've just fast traveled to our tent and we've already got a stag here. We're just gonna take him out real quick. Sounds like we have something else right nearby. Yep, we got a female. And that looks good and she's down. All right, so anyway, we're hunting red deer today. And we've also got that road deer competition, so we're gonna see what we can find. Looks like we got a euro rabbit. Oop, and he's down. Look at them all. Like we got one there. And the red deer down there are a little too far to hear the shots. Looks like we've got two small stags down here. Oh, it looks like the stag heard the shots and he was going for a little trot. He wasn't very big, so we'll probably just leave him. Or if he comes back in the render, I've got the 8x57 on me. And we'll see if we can take him out. For now, let's see if we can take out a few more of these rabbits. Alright, so we're up on this hill with a pretty good view of the burrows. We just missed one go down there. But we got a good spot. So we shouldn't have too many get past it. And we have a rabbit moving. And it's down. Those red deer are gonna spook, but they're just hinds. And the stag that was with them was pretty small. So we're not gonna worry about them. We're gonna finish cleaning up these rabbits. And we have a rabbit out of the burrow. Oop, we didn't hit him. I'm not sure if we got him or not. Oh yeah, there's the death dome. Let's, oh. Didn't even see that one out of the hole. And it's down. Let's check if there's any left. And the pointer is telling us that the holes are clear. Let's go pick them up. Gonna have to crawl into the hole to get this one. There we go. Just a small one, very small one. Well, that was just a track. But it's, that's a little bit better. Still not a very big one. Another small one. Let's see, where else did we kill them? I think we had one down here. Yeah, there we go. And another one right there. Another decent team. And let's see what this one scored. Not too bad. Not a bad group of burrows. A little bit of money, not too bad. Now, let's see if we can find some big red deer. And it looks like we have a stag already. He's not looking very big, but we're gonna shoot him. We're gonna go over and lay on this rock to get a good shot at him. I haven't used the 8x57 in quite a while, so 
Hopefully, we can make a good shot on him. And that looked pretty good. There's a roe deer running as well. But, we're not going to take a shot. Alright, so we've got the blood. It's body. But I guess we didn't quite have enough power to penetrate the lungs from there. Because that looked like a pretty good hit. We might have to put another bullet into this guy. So it looks like we've spotted another stag while tracking our last one. Unless it's the same one. But I don't think it is. It's not acting like it's wounded. So we'll take a shot at him. And he is down. Actually, I know it's not the same stag, because he called and we had to switch tracks. So this is a new stag. Very similar in size. Slightly smaller, I believe. He's, yeah, he's just quite a lot smaller than the other one. I would say he's about a 160. Just a little guy, not too bad. And we got a double lung shot, and he's a 160, like I said. So the 8x57 didn't quite have enough power to put our stag down. And as a result, we're gonna have to put another bullet in him. And that should be good. Looks like we hit him with both of those shots. And we got lung blood this time, so he should be just over this hill. And there he is. He's looking like maybe just over 200. Left lung and we tagged that hind leg. And just over 200. Not too bad, 277 meter first shot. So that's probably why that 8x57 couldn't quite penetrate that long. So let's head back to the river and see if we can find some more. All right, so we've spotted another stag in the river. Not very big, looks like we've got a fox over there. Let's just spot him real quick. We're gonna take out the spotting scope, he's pretty far. We're still not quite getting spotting information. Probably has something to do with the fact that he's a little bit stuck in the ground. Let's see, looks like we've also got a roe deer over there. Female. She looks like she's a little skittish. We must have spooked her with some gunshots earlier. Let's try one more time to spot this fox, and if we can't... We'll just take a shot at this red deer. Don't see the fox anymore. Okay, I think that's him by the rock. Nope, I lost him. So let's just take a shot at this red deer. And he's gonna call real quick. And we're gonna take a shot. He is down. Alright, here's our stag. He's looking like another 160s. Maybe a little smaller. Let's have a look. Looks like maybe a heart shot on this one. Nope. Double long. 158. No big ones yet. Looks like we found another stag. This one's looking a little better. Maybe the 220 range. 
We've also spotted a pretty decent roebuck behind us. We're gonna call that in and take it with the bow. And then we're gonna blast out our stag here. So it looks like we've got our mail coming in. I believe we got another mail call. So we'll see if we get another buck coming in. But for now, let's take a shot on this one. And he did not drop. But it looks like he went down. We got a bear running up beside us. Looks like it wants to... Oh no, it's taken off. Alright. Let's pick up this female here. And our male. And maybe take a peek over this ridge and see if we can see that other buck that called. So that looks like a female. I hear another one walking just over the ridge though. So we'll see if this one's got some antlers on his head. We got another roe deer call. Female. No sign of him yet. He's got to be just below this rock. He's probably going to speak if I try a shot, but... Okay, so we got a female. It sounds like there's multiple. There's our buck right there. And we've tagged him. We're not going to try another shot with the bow. We'll go, uh, we'll go shoot our stag. Oh no, he's down. Okay. So we'll go pick him up, and then we'll go shoot that stag that we saw behind us. Let's see what our male scored. I'm surprised we hit lung from that angle. He looks alright. Maybe 160s, 170s. Sixties, 166. Not too bad. Looks like we forgot to pick up our other male, so we'll go get him on our way back. And then we'll fire a shot at that red deer. Alright, so here he is. He looks like he might be about the same size as the other one, maybe a little smaller. Yeah, just a little bit. Not a bad red deer. Now let's crouch and see where our stag went. He shouldn't have spooked, he should still be standing in the river where he was. He might have walked onto this island. Looks like we got a fox over there now. Let's look. It's actually a pretty good fox. I don't think I have anything to shoot him other than my bow. But we might try to take a shot on this fox with the bow. Because that is a pretty good estimate. Let's just have another look at him. I think we're going to call that in. That is a pretty good fox. It would be rather impressive if we could take him out with the bow. Actually, I believe I have the 223 on me. But now I'm set on trying to take him with the bow. So we'll set up the 223. Looks like there's a stag over there. Just have a quick glance over there. Looks like he's just a little guy. And he's very small. But we might take him as well. But let's see if we can get this fox. I'm going to get the 223 out just in case he spooks and we got to follow up on him. I'm hoping it doesn't happen. We only had eight bullets. Should be more than enough.
Let's get up on this rock. We'll just let out one more call before we get up there. We should have a pretty good view from up here. Let's see, I think I just saw him disappear behind that rock there. We're actually going to move a little further up so that we can see past this little ridge here. Because it's kind of a pain in the ass. Alright, so this looks pretty good. I think that's our fox there. Let's just have a quick look and make sure. And that is him. No sign of our bag that was over here. But I'm sure he didn't go far. Let's just get up onto this rock here. I think I'm going to try a longer shot on this fox, because if you let him get too close, he won't even pause to let us get a shot. Because he's going to be pretty skittish. We're going to try and see if we can get him from here. Yeah, and he already sees us, and we hit him low. So we're going to follow up with the 223. It looks like we missed. Maybe we should lay down. I don't think we hit him at all. So we're in for a little bit of a tracking job by the looks of it. We're going to put our scope back on our 8x57 and see if maybe we can spot our stag that I'm sure we spooked. So it looks like our fox is right there. I don't think he's dead. I haven't put a scope on him yet, but we're putting the 223 back in our hands to finish him off. He looks like he's just standing there with his head hung. Oh no, he is dead. So now, let's all go pick him up, and then we'll go see if we got any stags still hanging around. Oh, we got some rabbits running by. Under the water, it would appear. There's one down. Looks like the other one's gonna get away. Alright, let's see what our fox scored. Then we'll go pick up that rabbit in the water. Is there any more up there? Nope. Alright, 14.5 kg, 32. That is a big fox. That is by far my biggest fox. We'll take a trophy shot of that for sure. Alright, so here's our trophy shot, and he looks absolutely massive. Let's go ahead and accept that. And we will be mounting this fox, because that is quite a big one.
So we've spotted a pretty good looking stag. We were following a rabbit back to the burrows, which for some reason are on this side of the river. I'm not really sure why they were running towards the island, but regardless, we run into some nice looking red deer. Uh, I got two calls up here. I'm only seeing one stag, so I'm not going to shoot just yet. Because I want to have a look at the other one. In case it happens to be bigger. And there he is. He is smaller. I believe that might be our stag from earlier. But anyway, we're going to take out the other one. Looks like he might be stuck on that rock. And we found the rabbit burrows. Uh, good thing I'm paying attention to what I just pulled out. It would have been bad if we'd shot that with a 223. Looks like he's still stuck up there. It doesn't look like we can get a shot on him. Let's just move over. Now it looks like we can get a shot. Let's just make sure that this is the bigger one. I believe there's one moving in the back there. What do we have there? It looks like it's a female rodeus. We're going to go ahead and shoot this. Let's go for a neck shot. And he's down. Let's see if we can get this one as well. And it looks like he might be hit. We're gonna go grab those, and then we'll come back and maybe shoot a few rabbits. Depending on how long this video is gonna be. Alright, so here's our stag. Looks like we walked past him the first time. He's not quite as big as I thought. He's looking like maybe a 220s, 230s. I don't think he's going to break that 240 mark. And he's actually only a 206. He looks much... Alright, so that's it for this hunt. We shot quite a few stags. No real big ones. We got that monster fox. That is by far my biggest fox. We had to shoot some rabbits and test out the 22 a little bit more. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one.